Hi, how are you? So, uh, lots to cover today. I'm just going to jump right in. Um, this too much, too much lady. Uh, let's let's be abundantly clear. The uh, I guess the uh, Jamie Coburn and the rest of that crowd were uh, apparently watching or participating in a different um, uh, hearing than the rest of us were uh, because he actually thinks it went well or something. He's also wearing, I, this is a bad time to wear a pinstripe suit when you're going to cut, you're, you're, you're accused of basically being a congressperson in name only, and you're, uh, and there's a chance you're making money off of shutting down the government. It, you try to, try a little harder to look like a robber baron while you're at it. Why don't you get a bowler hat and a giant pipe? Um, this is, I guess he just came straight from auditioning to be the model for the new chance card in Monopoly. But this is him on Newsmax. Uh, on Greg Kelly. So the most miserable man on the internet uh, has, as his guest, the least welcome member of the uh, the House of Freedom Caucasians. We all know what this payment's really for. It's for influence, uh -huh. peddling, and selling. Okay, no, it's for influence. If it's for influence peddling, then it's secondary. It's like a fee on top of the influence peddling. It's like Taylor Swift concert tickets. And the Biden brand. Now, did The Biden brand is honesty and forthrightness. And uh, if you put your money with us, you can trust that it will get where it's going safely. Today, we have shown that the Biden family and their companies received more than... And their companies. It's pretty broad. And their companies. Even companies that weren't their companies, like uh, Rosemont Seneca, uh, the real estate, which was uh, basically just Devin Archer by himself. $15 million without providing any known legitimate services between 2014 and 2019. If you... No. And first of all... I got news for you too. Once 20, January 2016 happens, I don't give a fuck. There's no such thing as influence peddling when someone's no longer in office, especially through their kid who never was. Include the business associates and their companies, they've received over $24 million. If you include all their subsidiaries, if you include all of even a third of Trump's 1,500 LLCs, we're talking billions of dollars. Dollars. That's a lot of cash. And That's a lot of cash. And, uh, they just subpoenaed Mr. Comer there, uh, issuing a subpoena for the bank records of James Biden and also Hunter Biden. Um, yes, who apparently we uh, is a smoker and they don't have any other pictures. Witnesses today, experts before the <laughs> experts who had no direct knowledge of anything. First, these are your first witnesses. Maybe you're just laying out the case. Maybe in a murder trial, I've watched a decent amount of true crime. Maybe most, I don't know, have you guys ever seen a murder trial where the first witness is brought out that they showed to the jury is uh, uh, explain that murder is a crime if and when it does happen. We're not going to prove that it did in this particular case, but uh, we just want to, how did, how did murder become a, a crime? And if a murder did happen, would that be a bad thing? Yes. What does that have to do with this? But nothing. Do you have any proof that a murder happened? No, but if we keep looking, maybe someone will die in the interim. The impeachment inquiry, which got underway today, and uh, it's high time. Congressman James Comer. It is high time. The inquiry. A Republican chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Who is very alone right now. And he was also on this impeachment. And has a lot of alcohol over there. Like, look, I know you're from a fucking bourbon state, dum-dum, but... That's a bit much. Impeachment inquiry. Uh, sir, welcome. Uh, very impressive work today. How do you feel? It was great. How do you feel? It was so good. You didn't actually have any fact witnesses at all. Uh, what was the thinking behind that? How do you feel about it? Well, I feel good. You know, we had two purposes today. First of all, it was to uh, justify, prove the justification for impeachment inquiry. All three witnesses said that we had uh, reached the barrier. Uh, you, who gives a shit? You already started it. So, so let me get this straight. So you had three witnesses come in specifically to show that you had the right to do what you were already doing. Cool. Now, did, did they say anything about it being a dumb idea at the same and time? surpassed the barrier for impeachment inquiry. And the second purpose was to reintroduce the evidence to our uh, friends in the mainstream media who continue to say there's no evidence. There's no evidence. Uh, just about. 
There's information. Information is not evidence. About every questioner on our side, I have 26 Republicans on the committee, just about every single one presented some form of actual hard evidence. No. Uh, information. Most of it presented, at, in the case of Byron Donalds, uh, fraudulently. Of some type of criminality by the Bidens. Is also of some type of criminality. We had a guy bringing some traffic tickets. Also showed the coordination and Joe's involvement in the Biden family influence peddling. So the China wire, can we talk about that for a moment? The wire. Yeah, tell us about the China wire. That's amazing. Yeah, the whole wire from China. Millions of dollars, hundreds of millions. Uh, $1.5 billion wired directly into uh, Hunter Biden's crack pipe that you just established came from China in late July and early August 2019. Now, late July, early August 2019. Who was president then? And who was uh, no longer in government and also uh, anybody else who was never in fucking government? 2019, really? You're gonna 20. By the way, uh, 2017, Donald Trump got a got 17 million dollars from the Chinese magically into an account that had never had 700 thousand dollars in it before. Suddenly had 17 million. He took 15 million out while he was president of the United States. Within weeks of shutting down the uh, the uh, um, Trans Pacific Partnership, huh? Let's put it up on the screen. I think it was 10 thousand dollars in July, 250 thousand dollars in August. You called the Biden House the um, the beneficiary, right? The beneficiary address. Right. Technically speaking, what is a beneficiary address? The yeah, tell us what the bit. So it was uh, Hunter's permanent address while he was looking for a new house. Yeah, I'm I'm fascinated. Recipient. Yeah, when you do a wire, you have to put the address. Uh, even though the, it's wired, you have to put a physical address and you have to list the purpose of the wire, just like writing an old-fashioned check. You have to do all of that stuff, especially with. <laughs> It's like, uh, it's, it, it's great that we have this graph and it went that way. It didn't come from the Pacific side, which I think was good. It took the shortest route. It, I guess it was six of one, half dozen of another. And uh, went straight to the house like Indiana Jones's airplane. The wire. Uh, and with respect to the uh, beneficiary address, they listed Joe Biden's house. So a court. Well, where was uh, Hunter Biden living at the time? He was, he, was, he was looking for a place out in California spending an amount of time there, but he hadn't bought a house there and his permanent address was still listed on his driver's license as that house. Quarter of a million dollar wire from a Chinese foreign national went to Joe Biden's house. No, 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 no. I, I don't know. <laughs> Did these motherfuckers know how wires work? Jesus Christ, it goes to your bank. What are you talking about? Does anybody have fucking, it didn't, nobody wired it. To, he doesn't have a money printer at the house, dum-dum. The fuck does he think there's like a little machine on the desk that cranks out gift cards? Good Lord. No, it did not. No one ever gets a wire to their fucking house. Western Union doesn't even break. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Biden has an ATM in the, in the garage. Uh, to his son in his house. Now, when that. No, not to his son in his house. That has never happened to anyone at, well, maybe the Rockefellers or something. What the fuck are you talking about? It went to the bank. It first came out, we first released that. Everybody said, oh my fucking God, he probably misspoke. No one is this fucking dumb that they would repeat this. And then we did. Then, uh, Hunter Biden's attorneys came up and said, well, Hunter Biden was living there. Ian Sams, who's the White House spokesman for oversight, said, well, Hunter was living there and it was because of COVID. COVID hadn't happened yet, number one. And number two, Hunter Biden. No, COVID, dumb fuck. COVID was why he didn't change his address in 2020. It, his previous, all right. That's why he maintained that as his primary address during the next year because of fucking COVID. Why he didn't update it a couple months later. I was living in California at that time, but the wire was addressed Ooh. to Joe Biden. Ooh, hey, a wire was addressed. And obviously, I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, Wilmington, Delaware house the, uh, that Biden lives in, but there are wires leading right up to the house. Phone, phone lines.
and power, but still wires. It's how. So we catch the Bidens and their defenders in lie after lie after lie, and we continue to get more and more evidence of suspicious wires from our suspicious wires enemies around the world. And this hearing today, the Democrats had a lot of theatrics. They tried to pull a lot of motions to disrupt. But one thing they didn't do, they didn't say what the Bidens did to receive the $20 million. They did. Neither did you. Hey, wait, wait, back up. Didn't deny the fact that we said Hold on. that the Bidens had 20 Hold shell back. companies. Stop. They didn't deny the fact that the, the fact what the Bidens did to receive the $20 million. No, they didn't the do. They didn't say what the Bidens did to receive the $20 million. Okay, you're the one doing the impeachment inquiry on the idea that the money was received for influence peddling. That's your fucking job. Point out the change in policy that came because of that money. Never mind the fact that it didn't go to Joe and it was part of Hunter's business and that was where he had listed his house and, and or his permanent address and his, he was incorporated in the state. So they put that address on the incorporation paperwork. Who gives a rat fuck? Never mind that fact. What do you do for it is your job. Because it's not a quid pro quo in, until you can show that something was done in exchange. And so far, everything that they have accused Biden of doing in exchange for this money was all was stuff that apparently the entire U.S. Congress, the IMF, the, the, the rest of the Obama administration was all for. So were they bribing everybody? How much Ukrainian cash and Chinese cash is floating around? Dollars. They didn't deny the fact that we said that the Bidens had 20 shell companies. They did. Yeah, they did. They have 20 companies. That doesn't mean they're shell companies. They didn't deny the fact. Also, some of your shit is so ridiculous. It's not worth talking about again. That the Bidens had been money laundering and they didn't deny the fact that the Biden family. Yes, they did. Every time they said there's no evidence of wrongdoing by the president or his son, other than tax issues that Hunter had, that's saying, fuck you with this money laundering nonsense. Been influence peddling. All they would say uh, when they weren't talking about Donald Trump or Rudy Giuliani was that uh, you haven't proven Joe Biden received any money. <laughs> but we've proven right proven the families received a lot of money joe who gives a shit met with all the people that also i got news for you dumb dumb if you could prove that joe biden received some money but it was in 2019 again nobody gives a fuck what's he supposed to do i i i don't believe he did that's not the point the point is is apparently they think that the job of the federal government is to attack private citizens or former uh federal employees once they stop working for the government for whatever they decide to do with the rest of their lives because they need to make them look bad in case shit comes back around. Sent the family money. Why are you saying Gong Si Fasai? It's not Chinese New Year, by the way. <laughs> Although it's my New Year, sort of. So, yeah. Joe was the brand that they were selling. And we believe that that's pretty incriminating evidence against No. Branding around... Scranton Joe and and even the Bo Biden name the Biden name was the brand not Joe himself dumb fuck Hunter himself was trying to align himself more with the good part of his family his father and his brother considering his troubles that's why the brand part I, this whole they even had a graphic up that said the fucking brand Jesus Christ Donald Trump slathers his fucking name on everything the Trump brand was the entire purpose of his presidency. Joe Biden. Like you said, these, these motions, these technicalities. Uh, here's Jamie Raskin trying his best to stop the whole thing at one point. Take a look. And you're not having it, by the way. You're yeah, you're not, you're not following the rules as you're supposed to. The reaction's to. awesome. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, before I give my opening statement, I have a parliamentary inquiry. Uh, given that the committee has not been authorized by the full house to conduct an impeachment inquiry, am I correct in... Oh, because they didn't hold a vote. Assuming that we're obligated to follow the rules of the house, including section 370 of the rules and manual, which prescribe engaging in personalities towards the president. Section 370 says accusations that the president has committed a crime All or right. even that the president has done something illegal are unparliamentary. Yeah, unparliamentary. Unparliamentary. How about their their unparliamentary behavior uh, is kind of incredible. You he means towards Donald Trump. By the way, 
uh, they took a vote and had an impeachment inquiry and talked about the president and his criminal activities underneath the fact that they were in an impeachment, not an impeachment inquiry, an actual fucking impeachment, which they had voted on. That was the point he was trying to make. Sense a, a little bit of a fear, a little bit of an anxiousness with them. No. Look at him. Look at Jamie Raskin, dipshit. He's being cute. Section cute 370 says accusations that the president has committed a crime All or right. even that the He's being a dick to Jamie. Go they, they know this is going to continue. They don't give a fuck. The president's done something illegal or unparliamentary. Yeah, unparliamentary. Unparliamentary. How about their, at, their unparliamentary behavior uh, is kind of incredible. You didn't sense a... No. A little bit of a fear, a little bit of... No. An anxiousness with them that you guys are making headway, that this stuff is real. It's not a cons <laughs> Do you guys, do you get any sense that while they were joking about your entire proceeding today and they were fucking with you all goddamn day, that they were doing it from a sense of nervous? Do you think they were snickering at you behind your back in the cloakroom because they, they considered it to be, you know, because they're just afraid? Conspiracy theory. You see it in their eyes. I know that sounds silly, but you know. Yes, it does. It, it, good, excellent point. You know, a moment of clarity from Greg Kelly. Something we never thought we'd see. Greg Kelly floats a stupid idea and then recognizes publicly in that exact moment that he sounds like a moron. Good stuff. Now, do you? And they think because the media is going along with saying there's no evidence that the American people think that. CNN's poll showed 61% of Americans, this is CNN's poll, uh -huh. showed 61% of Americans believe Joe Biden was involved in his family's shady business schemes. No, I don't think that's how the question was asked. Um, and also it covers a uh, time when he was in office and when he was not in office. And in some of those questions, people are like, when he was not in office, I kind of don't give a fuck. Maybe he was, but so? Okay, that's even with the mainstream media trying to indoctrinate into their viewers that there's no evidence. The Counter indoctrinate, I the suppose. The American people understand that the Biden families received millions and millions of dollars from our enemies around the world. And they um, sorry, the enemies around the world that he's talking about, literally Rudy Giuliani received money from the same groups specifically. And Donald Trump rented, well, he sold a condo in Trump Tower across from the UN to to the head of CEFC, uh, Yi, Jin, Yi Jin Ming, uh, who was the, you know, the head of CEFC, who's disappeared, by the way, $5 million to the Trump family for the Trump brand. They can't say what they did to receive the money. And if they were watching this hearing today, what they saw were Democrats try to distract, obstruct, and mock and point out how stupid it was. And, and deflect from- By the way, from the fact that Jim Jordan never showed up for his subpoena. The problem at hand, and the problem at hand is our commander in chief, our president of the United States, family has been selling him all over the world to our enemies for millions and millions mm -hmm. of dollars. To what? It, to get what in exchange? In the case of China, what did China get? put in a zipper hood and locked in a trunk like the fucking gimp in Pulp Fiction. And this is a threat to our national security. And that's why uh, after today with the witness testimony, we will continue and proceed officially with impeachment inquiry. I Very so. Yes, this wasn't really the first day of impeachment inquiry. This is just us pushing back on the fact that we couldn't get the votes together to put this committee together. Issued subpoenas for James Biden and Hunter Biden's personal bank records. And we're going to go through those bank records because the money that we've been following. When yeah, uh, real quick. Um, what is the premise, the subpoena premise you're going to have on when Joe Biden was no longer in office for for subpoenaing the bank records of private citizens who hold no federal office? Where's the oversight in that? Once once Joe Biden, what, January 21st, 2016. What the fuck does, and, and by the way, going forward, is this how it's going to work? Is, is the House going to have the subpoena ability of any private citizen in the United States if they just think they don't like you and they, they, they think there must be, where there's smoke, there's fire. So the, the, they get to subpoena your bank records based on what exactly?
Uh, oh, is Twitch? Am I not on a Twitch right now? Hold on. I should be. Give me one second. Pop this suck up. What's happening? Some, sometimes. Wait, one second. Um, where are these guys? Uh, it says I'm streaming. It says I'm there. Yeah. Okay. From the countries to the shell companies to the Bidens in incremental payments. Yeah. Now we've got the Biden's personal account. That's what the next objective is with the subpoenas today. And we're going to see what they spent that money on. And if you if you've read the laptop, and I know you have, Hunter complains to everyone about having to give his dad half his salary, having to. Right. If it's if it's for if he's selling the brand of Joe Biden and he's the bag man for the criminal Biden crime family. Why does he have the fucking, you got to have some chuspa to fucking complain about that shit. What bag man bitches at the Godfather that you don't get to keep them all the money in the bag? What are you talking about? Why would Hunter bitch about giving half of his money to his dad, which by the way, they just put in an account to hold for him because he was snorting every fucking thing. They didn't want him to use up all his money and then be broke and not be able to provide for his children. That's another thing entirely. And also because he was the richest member of the family while he was having to pay for some of the, you know, he was expected by some of the nephews and nieces and stuff to pay for their education at certain points because he was rolling in this money. But but the idea that you, who would even bitch about that? Right? Is Santa's the bag man? Right. Yeah, they're going after Joe Biden to go after me. That's right. Pay for so many things. There were emails from uh, Biden's Joe Biden's bookkeeper saying, you're going to have to pay for your dad's roof. You know, yeah. there's evidence yeah. that... Because he was living there during the time he lived there. So fucking what? His fucking roof? Jesus Christ, man. We're not talking about... Menendez had fucking closets full of cash and gold bars. You're going to talk to me about fucking roofing? God damn. Biden was paying for his cell phone. So we. Wait, who was paying for his cell phone? Dad's roof. You know, yeah. there's evidence yeah. that Hunter Biden was paying for his cell phone. So we. There's evidence that Hunter Biden was paying for his cell phone. <sighs> because they were on a family plan. And they made him kick in the payment for the family plan occasionally because he was always on it. And they, Jesus Christ, do these people not have any fucking, do they not have family? We want to see what the personal funds that they, that they, where they received all this laundered money from the foreign nationals, what they did with the personal funds. And anybody. Why, uh, okay. Uh, tell you what, right up to January 16th, uh, January 21st of, uh, of 2016, Knock yourself out. Let's hit. But I want to see the reasoning behind Republicans thinking that people who are no longer in office, who have no influence to peddle, suddenly are can be a target of, we get to look through your bank accounts and see if we like what you're spending your money on. He was like impatient and saying, well, this should have happened. Like, you can look back at Nixon. It was a basically a year and a half long process. And um... Nixon was president while it was happening, fuckwad. So you're on to something. He committed the crime during the re during his re-election campaign. It was the committee to re-elect the president. He was president at the time. Obviously, and this could, um, I don't know, this is historic and I appreciate <laughs> Yeah, it's his, on its level of idiocy, it's, uh, it's fucking historic. Your efforts and thank you, uh, Congressman. For thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank me. Thank everybody. Thank us all. Uh -huh. I mean, because uh, I'm still, I've still got a little, uh, I'm a little butt hurt from when they attacked Trump, and I wish I'm just glad you're attacking them. I don't even need you to have a reason for for sharing um, this information with us and to be. What 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 did you just say? Did you say information? It's evidence. It's not information. This is evidence. He continued. Okay. We're not going to stop. We're going to continue to follow the money and and try to hold this president accountable. For what exactly? Having a roof? Having a cell phone? What are you holding him accountable for? What was, look, 
With Benghazi, at least you had an event that was difficult and painful and people died and all that. And you could, they tried to backdraft that to make it Hillary Clinton's fault. I, at least they had that to hang that bullshit on and still, you know, the, at least the phrase meant something because the actual incident that was, that they were investigating, even though they were trying to pepper it with people who weren't responsible for it, at least there was something to it. I don't know where the fuck they're just like, we're going to keep digging until we find out something he paid for that we don't like. And this motherfucker, thanks Joe Biden, spent 50 years in the fucking Senate to sell out the United States to the Chinese or the Romanians or the fucking Ukrainian Russian sock puppets that were going at the time or the George Soros or the IMF or the fucking Illuminati. He spent 50 years in the, in the House and Senate so that he could sell them out for a, a, the, a roof? Roof repairs? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're doing it the right way. Uh, thank <laughs> You're doing it. It's always the right way. Go. Uh, what you want to do is just basically by looking in someone's drapes. Uh, and then this is this is the equivalent. This is what Comer's doing. Comer is sneaking up to the side of your house in the dark of night peeking through your window and accusing you of public nudity. That's what this is. This is, this is, this is being, this is a fucking peeping Tom accusing you of public nudity. Uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, and Greg Kelly uh, has brought us the blessings of being the stupidest guardian of this shit as we go through.